Krishna, here we are at Krishna's Village of Peace at the 23rd Woodstock Festival in uh, northern Poland, just on the border of Germany. If I could say we're standing on sacred ground. <laughs> How is the sacred ground? Well, for the last 13 years, the festival has been held here, and we've had our Village of Peace here. Our devotees have been performing the Maha Yagya chanting the holy names, distributing prasadam, answering people's questions, doing Ratha Yatra, all the various activities of our, of our festival. Just like 
the battlefield of Kurukshetra. That place is probably most known for the battlefield, but actually Prabhupada remarks in Bhagavad Gita that it was a sacred place uh, from time immemorial because that was a place where the sadhus, the sages, used to come and perform yagyas. And that's why I believe the Pandavas chose that place to fight because they had the advantage over the Kurus. So it's a sacred place, Kurukshetra. So this is also sacred in the sense this is very integral part of the Lord Sankirtan movement. We come here every year and we perform the Maha Yagya. People are expected at the Woodstock Festival and because of our location we have a prime location where just off the main entrance as you come into the event and the first thing people see when they come to Woodstock is Krishna's Village of Peace. Our big tent which is about almost uh, almost uh, 50 yards long and they see our massive food for life distribution tent they see our various tents around here almost one acre of land we have here and of course they see the devotees busy as bees um, performing their various services. So it took 10 days, it takes 10 days to build this village. You can see our boys on this video, they're working very hard in the driving rain and uh, also the hot sun, so we give a lot of credit to them. Our mothers, our ladies are working in the tents, decorating, decorating them very nicely to attract people inside. We have, a, of course, the big tent, we have food for life, we have a questions and answers tent, which is always full with at least 100 or 200 kids. Uh, we have uh, two seminars going on during the four-day event. Uh, one seminar is the Art of Happiness in one tent, and His Holiness Shivaram Swami is coming up from Hungary. He's going to do another uh, seminar called Simple Living and High Thinking. We have our Gopi Dots, we have our Henna, we have our, our yoga tent, uh, two or three instructors at one time because there's big crowds here. Uh, we have our book tent, which actually is one of the most popular, actually becomes more popular as the years go on. Because what's the result of coming to some Maha Yagya like this? Cheto Darpan and Marjanam. The heart becomes purified. And as the heart becomes purified and one's interest in Krishna consciousness or God consciousness begins to awaken, then one naturally begins to inquire. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. have um, one of the main features here as always is our mantra yoga tent that's our kirtan tent and uh, the kirtan starts around four or five o'clock in the afternoon it goes to three in the morning 
That's 11 hours of kirtan, and, and real kirtan. We have Mahatma Prabhu here, we have uh, Madhava, we have Bibi Govinda Maharaj, Achyuta Gopi, uh, Badahari, myself, and other kirtaneers, some of the, the best kirtaneers in, in ISKCON, and they're just chanting their hearts out. As Madhava always says, chant from the heart. But the real feature of that tent is not so much us, but the people. How the people enjoy Krishna consciousness. Why not? Krishna is all attractive and he's present in the sound of his name. Namat Shintamani Krishna, Chaitanya Rasta Vigraha. So when the kids come into the tent, they're sweet kirtan, devotees are dancing, they're caught up into the mood and they chant and they chant and they stay for hours. In fact, when we try to finish at two or three o'clock in the morning, they won't let us go. They put the barricades up so the kirtan leaders can't get out. And when we finally get out, they keep the kirtan going till, till uh, sunrise. We have 700 devotees joining us from all parts of the world. Uh, 200 of them will be engaged in constant cooking. We've rented six schools uh, around this region, in this, in this area, uh, six schools, uh, because these schools all have kitchens. And these are old schools uh, from previous times, so they have big kitchens. We rent the kitchens. We cook halava in one place. We cook papadums, we cook rice in another place. We cook sabjis in another place like that. And, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to prepare uh, 25 tons of foodstuffs. This is a Mahayagya. Six tons of rice, five tons of beans, two tons of semolina, two tons of bananas, two tons of sugar, two tons of papadums, two tons of oil, and four tons of vegetables. 25, 26,000 tons. That requires a lot of cooks working around the clock. And Ratha Yatra every day, uh, up and down the, the main avenue. There's one main avenue here which divides the whole Woodstock up. Up and down the main avenue, four hours every day, throwing sweets from the cart, getting the kids to uh, chant and to dance with us. Again, like our smaller festivals up on the coast, we exist simply to introduce people to Krishna consciousness. This is our life, engaging others. And it's not hard if we follow the process which Sri Prabhupada has given us, which Lord Chaitanya has given us, chanting, dancing, and feasting. Sankatan Prabhupada described, he said this, Sankatan is complete glorification of the Lord. So it's made complete. We have so many, to make this yagya successful, we need so many various services, and everyone's service is important. So this is real. Samkirtan means the complete glorification of the Lord. So all devotees from different countries coming together at this particular time in history, here at the Woodstock Festival, this is really history in the making. You could say, well, I say this all humility, as a humble servant of Sridhar Prabhupada. Uh, this is the modern day pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we see ISKCON is doing this all over the world, in India, in America, in Canada, Brazil, Australia. The movement is growing, 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 surely giving pleasure to Sridhar Prabhupada, our acharyas, and uh, Shri Shri Gorni Thai. So we are, we're very happy to be here on, on this, uh, this battlefield of, of modern day battlefield of Kurukshetra and we look uh, forward to introducing the people in a very big way to the wonderful world of Krishna consciousness, all due to the mercy of Sridhar Papa. Sridhar Papa, thank you for this wonderful opportunity to please you in such a ginormous way.
हरे कृष्ण